well, this fireplace DIY I made using cardboard, newspaper, and homemade glue. And there was a little bit of mishaps. I had minimal supplies. I was not home. I was in Florida visiting my son and his wife and my granddaughter. And this DIY was made using my granddaughter's crib box. So guys, as you can see in the video, I use a sign and styrofoam to give me those straight edges that a ruler would give me. And I am going to start the video. I hope you guys like the video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel so I can bring you many more. This is the box and this is a crib box and I'm opening it, I'm putting it against the wall. I am using just a simple piece of paper to give me the straight edge. I did the trace and now I am cutting it with a utility knife. As you can see there, I deconstructed the whole box. That is the fireplace part and the bottom base. These would be the measurements. I didn't use those measurements. But if you want to use measurements, those would be the measurements. I didn't have a ruler. I didn't have supplies. I just improvised with what I had on hand. As you can see here, I cut my two pieces. That's the fireplace part behind and the front. That's going to be the bottom base. And here, all I am doing is I just cut out pieces and with the hot glue gun, I am just going to start enforcing that bottom base so that it holds the top part, what the fireplace part would be because it's going to go on top of that once I flip that over. Here I am just reinforcing the base, the top part. I'm taking the other end of that box. I am cutting it on the lines and I am just going to glue them to the bottom base just like that. The reason I'm cutting it, it's so it's not so bulky. But I am just going to cut that piece and just hot glue it on top of the other piece that looks exactly the same. And then that part I'm going to glue on top, just like that. This is the bottom of what the bottom base looks like. Now I'm just using some styrofoam to give me straight edges on the inside of the fireplace because I'm going to do the trace marks on the inside, cut on the inside so that the front of the fireplace has clean cut edges. And that sign there, I'm using that, I'm improvising and that's what I'm using as my guide for the straight edges, which you would normally use a ruler. But I improvise with whatever materials I had on hand. And that's what I did. I used a sign and styrofoam, straight styrofoam to give me straight edges. And you can do the same. If you zoom in, you can see the trace marks for the sign that I am going to now start cutting. Okay. 
I used that same sign to cut out the four pieces that go towards the back that is going to cover that opening on the fireplace. And that, I'm just showing that to show you guys that I cut that opening to the same size as that sign right there. I took some cardboard and I attached other pieces to cardboard with some blue painter's tape and that's why the painter's tape is there it is also helping me keep certain pieces in place when i use the hot glue gun and as you can see right there that's the inside i use two pieces one for each side and then two pieces on top one for the top and one for the bottom These are the pieces that you will need to make the top part of the fireplace. And you're going to create what looks like a box, only thinner than the bottom base. And then you're gonna reinforce it with pieces of cardboard, just like that. It's gonna give it sturdiness. Uh, once again, I had no ruler. I just eyeballed it and I used straight edge items to give me the the markings that I need so that I could cut them out. That's the bottom base. And now I'm going to hot glue the fireplace on top of that, which is going to create the fireplace itself. This is what you should have. The top, the middle, and the bottom all glued together. And the sides I made wider by gluing two pieces of cardboard together. I also use cardboard to reinforce the inside. So what I did was I folded pieces of long cardboard and folded, I glued them to hold the two pieces that joined at the corners and that reinforced it. Here I used spray paint in the middle because I wanted it to, when everything was said and done, I wanted it to look like soot. Here I just took regular cardboard and I cut out pieces like that and I continue to cut out pieces like that. I put them together, I, mod, I paper mache them together and that made it look like the moldings on the wood for the fireplace. Here, almost everything is glued together. As you can see, there goes the molding that will go on the wood part. The bricks are cut out i lost a lot of footage guys i accidentally deleted the clips from the gallery instead of deleting it from the app and it it was almost all my footage was almost gone so i am happy that at least i got this you're going to cut the bricks the size that you would like them i cut them off like this and I just use the hot glue gun to glue them in there. I glue them inside and on the bottom base. Everything else is supposed to look like wood. I made homemade glue using flour, sugar, and vinegar. And once I cooked it, it was really thick. And then I just diluted whatever I needed as I went along. This took days to make. So when you when you mix the water with the glue just don't use a lot if you're not going to be working with it and if you are whatever you dilute throw it away or store it in a glass container here i'm just using the paper mache technique to cover up um, the edges of where the cardboard was hot glued to the rest of the cardboard and this is just going to make it look even and it's going to help the cardboard be sturdier also. 
My son made the comment that he would have just painted the fireplace instead of putting the paper mache. So I attempted it and I didn't like it. So I went ahead and I did more paper mache. And after I did the paper mache throughout the whole entire place, then I painted it. I went over the paint that I had already painted. And it looked better with the paper mache because it covered up all the cardboard that would have been noticed. I bought a gallon of Glidden flat latex paint. I suggest you buy the glossy instead of the flat. Um, just because I think it would cover better and it will give the fireplace a shiny and protective coating. But here all I'm doing is I am just using a roller. I use a roller and a brush for the hard to reach places and I covered the whole thing in paint and the paint also is going to make the fireplace sturdier. And as you can see there, that's where I spray painted the black and it looks like soot inside the fireplace. You will need to give the fireplace two or three coats of paint just to cover up the paper mache and I suggest you don't use those paint brushes from the Dollar Tree because their bristles are really thick and they don't help those little edges or corners. It's not going to help. Get one from Walmart for 98 cents. The handles are wood and the bristles are softer. So here it is. The fireplace made of cardboard, newspaper, and homemade glue. more